Hi, my name is Jason Buck. I work with Remax Estate Properties and I shoot a lot of video. I want to give you an opportunity to see these homes as they come on the market. And then you can say, wow, we better change our schedule so we can get over there and see this house in person, which I usually recommend, although I've sold quite a few homes from video alone. Now, what's hard to show you today is the view. Um, all that out there is ocean. And then this is a, the Queen's necklace as it goes up. You can kind of see Redondo Pier right there and it stretches all the city lights stretch all the way around. I don't know if you'll see downtown LA from here, but you might, it'd be out that way. And that's all city lights. I mean, it's amazing. So this is a good spot. It's just a hard view day today. And we have La Venta Inn is right behind us. And this is 809 Via Canejo, listed by my friend, Dana Graham. Um, Dana is a historical buff like myself. I teach a class about history, but uh, Dana has his own um, history lessons that he teaches as well. And he's a fantastic. Hi. Hello, how are you? Very good, how are you? All right, look at this. Wow. Oh my God, you know what? This view is way better than I thought. Um, this is awesome. This is, yeah, the view's not a great day, but I can tell you, because I know the area, that's, you can see the beach right there. So that's awesome. That's a nice view. And it's nice that they made all these windows here to, to incorporate the view. Yeah, this isn't bad. This is really elegant, quite pretty. Um, single level right through into the kitchen. I like the kitchen tile. It's got a little texture, which I like. Uh, nice center island here. Granite, bay window. Waterfall, it's a nice feature there. And then you look the other way uh, to the big expansive room. You get your nook here. And then you have a trail that goes up, so you'll get more. Oh wow, and there's the tower from La Venta, I can see it. La is an incredibly special place. It's called the sales office, um, which is where they brought people in 1924 to show them what Palos Verdes was like. And what's unique here is Palos Verdes Estates has a homeowners association which is referred to as the art jury that has architectural control over the property. So you have to get permission from them to work on anything in the exterior, which keeps everything in a consistent level. And if we were to look out this way, what you see a lot of are red tile roofs um, all over. And the reason why is because the red tile roof, one for fire, um, but two, uh, it's very elegant and they incorporated that Californianism Spanish feel here. Um, and the red tile, the other thing about a roof, red tile roof or any roof with tile is that it has to have a stronger foundation to support the weight of that roof. And so House Roots Estates is like that. They've adopted that philosophy throughout. So windows here are solid. Um, they don't have aluminum retrofits. You have to pull it out and do the whole thing. So there's certain things that are a little bit more on the higher end in Palos Verdes Estates due to the archery requiring them, but it also helps the overall value of the properties. So now we're in the master bath. Double sink, nice marble countertop, little uh, workstation here and to get out to the patio. It's nice, big vault. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I like the back tile there. It's cool. Okay. There's another bedroom. Okay, because it's wet, I'm probably not going to go up the backyard, although that would be. Oh, and here's your laundry. but there's more land up the backside here. So, lots of potential here. Um, I'd be happy to talk to you more about Palos Verdes or this property or what properties are like back here if you're interested, or if you wanna talk history or what the opportunities are in the city. Give me a call. Thanks for watching, make it a great day.